Hey, Brian Curtis with CSTV. When 8 and 4 Utah takes on 8 and 4 Navy in the Point Setup Bowl, you will see two teams who couldn't be better at opposite things. Let's start with Navy. The midshipmen, not surprisingly, have the top ranked rushing offense in the country, averaging 351 yards on the ground every time they step on the field. Of course, their passing offense ranks 119th in the nation, that's dead last in Division 1A. So to stop the cadets, all Utah has to do is stop the run. And wouldn't you know it, the Utes aren't half bad at doing that, ranking 35th in rushing defense and surprisingly 15th overall in scoring defense. Now defense in Utah usually do not go hand in hand. The problem for Utah has been their offense, which averages just 25 points per game, and their passing game with Brian Johnson under center barely registers a blip. So who will win the game? That's a great question. You might think that Utah gets the nod because Navy coach Paul Johnson has left Annapolis for Georgia Tech. But his replacement, Ken Niamatulolo, has been the assistant head coach, and Navy won't skip a beat. If you look at the results from this season, Utah's best win is a blowout of UCLA, and worst loss is a shutout to UNLV. Now, Navy beat Pitt and Notre Dame, but also lost to Delaware and Ball State. So who do you go with? The offense that's hard to stop but is one-dimensional? Or do you go with the tough defense that only gave up more than 25 points twice this season? Well, maybe you look at special teams where the edge goes to Utah. Kicker Louis Sakota has decent range and is accurate, and punt returner Derek Richards can break a kick. I know, I know, I still haven't made a choice. How about we just go with whoever scores the most points? For more sports stories, log on to CSTV.com.